Reflections. A reflection is a transformation of points over a line. The line is called the line of reflection. In the figure below, the line of reflection is line L. A reflection is a transformation of points over a line. The line is called the line of reflection. In the figure below, the line of reflection is line L. A reflection across a line produces the mirror image. Like all mirror images, the pre-image in blue and the image in red have opposite orientations. So here's the pre-image reflected over the line of reflection, and here's the mirror image. Any point of the image which lies on the line of reflection maps onto itself. In this example, B maps onto B prime onto itself here because it's on the line of reflection. Let's focus our attention on A and A prime, C and C prime. Dashed orange segments are drawn as an aid creating line segment A, A prime, and C, C prime. When a pre-image is reflected across a line, the line of reflection L is the perpendicular bisector of any segment joining a pre-image point to its image point. So here we have L is the perpendicular bisector of AA, and L is also the perpendicular bisector of C, C prime. So yeah, we have AM, so this is this point here on line L, is congruent to A prime M, this segment here, and CM here is congruent to C prime M, and we have AB, so this length here, equals A prime B prime, and BC equals B prime C prime. Reflection notation. The reflection of cross line L that maps triangle ABC onto triangle A'B'C' prime 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 is written as R sub L of triangle ABC onto triangle A'B'C' prime prime prime. The subscript of R is the name of the line of reflection, in this case L. As we did previously, a grid can be superimposed over the figures to allow for further inquiry. In this example, the line of reflection L strategically becomes the diagonal y equals x, and point B is strategically positioned at 2 comma 2. Compare the coordinates of A and A prime, C and C prime. All right, so A is at negative 4 comma 4, and A prime is at 4 comma negative 4. C is at negative 5 comma 0, and C prime is at 0 comma negative 5. A reflection over the diagonal y equals x makes x comma y into y comma x. So you just flip the order. Reflection construction. When reflecting a figure, reflect the vertices first and then draw sides. With compass and straight edge, reflect a, b, c, d over line L. Label the vertices of the image a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime. All right, so we're going to begin by taking our compass and putting the point right there on D, and we're going to make sure that this is stretched just enough to hit this line twice. So you'll see what I mean here. So if I draw like this, it intersects the line at two points, here and here. I'll actually extend line L so that we have a little more room to work with. So move it up, and then I'm also going to extend it all the way down. Okay, so now we have it hit in two points, then we just take the compass, put it right there on the first intersection, and draw a line like this, then we pick it up, move it to the second point of intersection, and draw an arc just like this. Now I'm going to delete the first arc that I made so that you can see this intersection of the two, the arcs I made after the first arc, that is the point where D prime is going to be. All right, so then we pick up our compass, move it to our next point, and do the whole thing again. So we have to stretch it out a bit so that it will hit this line. All right, so first I'll draw this intersection there. All right, pick it up, move it over here. Okay, so I'm going to draw from that point, pick it up, move it down to the second point of intersection here. Draw again, and that point, 
is A prime. All right, moving on. Let's change the color of that. Okay, we'll put this on point B. Extend this a bit. All right, now I'll draw, that's not enough. I'll extend it a bit more. Okay, so I'll draw this arc here. Pick it up, move it to the first spot. There's our first arc, and then put it down here. Draw a second. All right, that spot there is B prime and then finally we can pick this up put it to C I can stretch this in a bit all right draw our arc here and here pick it up put it in the first spot draw an arc down here pick it up again move it there and draw there. All right, so we have that intersection there. And this is point C prime. Now we just have to attach all the points with lines, like so. And we have created our reflection. So here's our new image right here. You can also watch this video here for a more, a slower uh, example. This is an example of reflecting across a vertical line. Of course, we can superimpose an XY coordinate plane on the figures. How should we do that? Where should we position the origin? Reflection on a coordinate plane. There are different strategies for superimposing a grid. If the line of reflection is vertical, having this line coincide with the y-axis is generally a good strategy, as shown below. Having the x-axis coincide with sides bc and c prime b prime has some advantages too. The reflection across x equals zero that maps a b c d onto a prime b prime c prime d prime is written r sub x equals zero because that's the line of reflection x, y maps onto negative x, y. With compass and straight edge, reflect a, b, c, d over line s. Label the vertices of the image a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime. All right, well the advantage here is that these two points are on the line of reflection, which means that this point is also b prime and this point is also C prime. So we only actually have to reflect points A and D. All right, so let's get started with that. We are going to put the compass on A. Like so. And then rotate this around, stretch this out. And now we'll draw an arc that intersects the line of reflection twice. Actually, we have to extend this line a bit, like that, and like that. Okay, so then we move our compass onto the first point and draw another arc. We move it over here, and we will draw another arc like that. All right, so this point here is our point A prime. All right, now we'll change the color and we'll move our compass over to point D and we'll draw an arc like this. Then we'll move it over to the first point that intersects the line of reflection, draw an arc. Then we're gonna move this over to our second point here and draw an arc like that. And where those two arcs intersect, here is D prime. Then we just have to connect the lines as like so, and then like that. 
So we have successfully reflected this figure over the line of reflection. This is an example of reflecting across a horizontal line. Of course, we can superimpose an xy coordinate plane on the figures. Choosing the x-axis to coincide with the line of reflection is an obvious choice. In the previous problem with the vertical axis at the line of reflection, we chose to position b at negative 7, 0 and c at negative 3, 0. Let's do the same. The reflection across y equals 0 that maps a, b, c, d onto a double prime, b double prime, c double prime, d double prime is written r sub y equals 0, x comma y maps onto x comma negative y. So a is at negative 5 comma 4, a double prime is at negative 5 comma negative 4. So the x remains the same, but the y switches signs. So d we have negative 1 comma 4, and d double prime we have negative 1 comma negative 4, like that. A reflection over the horizontal y equals 0 makes x remain the same and y switch signs. Reflection across the axes. Here's the summary of the two reflections of the quadrilateral ABCD, one across the y-axis and the other across the x-axis. So here's our original image, the pre-image. Here's the reflection across x equals 0, and here's the reflection across y equals 0. Here, when you reflected it this way, x switched signs while y remained the same, and over here, when you flip it down over the x-axis, x remains the same and y switches signs. Link to interactive graphics. Click the Desmos icon to access an interactive website that demonstrates the mappings. So here we have a reflection over the line x equals h and we have a reflection over the line y equals k. So yeah, go, go click there for a demo. Reflection across y equals x, the diagonal. The reflection across y equals x that maps abc onto a prime b prime c prime is written r sub y equals x maps x comma y onto y comma x. So you see that these swap positions, x becomes y, y becomes x. So here we have a at negative 4 comma 4, a prime goes to 4 comma negative 4, and c is at negative 5 comma 0, c prime is at 0 comma negative 5. So these just swap places. Link to interactive graphics. Click the Desmos icon to access an interactive website that demonstrates the mappings. So here we can practice uh, reflecting things across the y equals x line.